Man. Needs knives. I am Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello. We are very excited to be finally getting to these SOCOM Elites. Plus a really, really cool custom that we got that, uh, yeah, is very awesome. So, so yeah, we want to start first off before anything by giving a massive, massive, massive huge, thank you huge. to two very, very special guys. We have Acuminous Edge who loaned us the production uh, production version manual. of the manual one and then also the Marfion Custom which we'll be getting to in a little bit. And then we want to give another massive thank you to Scott Big Four Williams. Both of these guys I will link in the description down below. Give them a follow, check out their pictures, tell them the Neve sent you. You guys, thank you so much. We can't thank you guys yeah, enough. I, I mean, mean, just to trust us with these knives, let alone. And then to allow us to have them as long as we have. It's It's been a lot. We're yeah. a new channel. We're trying to get better juggling around, you know, every all but this stuff It's normally stuff not had. like that, though. No. It's normally no, 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 never no. like just, that. We're just trying to get our system down. So we appreciate yeah. your patience. Um, we will be sending these off to Bama Knife Guy next. Yep. So anybody Shout who's out to Bama following Knife Guy. him, definitely keep an eye out for that. I'm sure it'll be around in the future, maybe a video we or something. We have nothing but good things to say about him. Yep. But um, So, again... Thank you guys yeah, so much. so much. Really seriously. I just want to be clear, too, on the unboxing. I wasn't super fond of the knife. That makes me no less grateful, and I've actually grown on it in a lot of different and ways. he's sending you the Mi smaller the ones. The minis, yeah. yeah he's sending so, the minis. That's, that's really cool, and yeah. And talk about a He, as an acuminous, he has some minis he's going to send. We're very grateful to have a friend like him to help our channel out like this and just be so cool to us. So um, let's get to these badass knives. Let's do it. Size comparisons? Let's do some size comparisons. Size comparisons. Size comparisons. That was a fist bump. Not that was like a fist bump? A, oh, I thought we were like... Yeah. No, we were like... All right. Yeah. First off, I just want to say this isn't going to be a regular review. We are going to put specs up on the screen. These knives are they're all similar. Well, they're all similar because they're all the same knife. This knife was first made in 1996 and has gone on till now in 2019, and they've done lots of different configurations. This is the auto here. This is the manual. And you can get the different steels on either one and the different blade grinds and different blade shapes. So there's so many different configurations. We are just going to talk about these two knives and the custom in a minute. Okay, first off, we're going to do USA Made Knives. This is the Benchmade Large Griptilian. And this is a large knife already. And you can see the difference in the sizes right there. Also, here is the Chris Reeves. Sebenza 21. And I mean, this, is the, this is the large, too. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to show the blade thickness comparison, too, in just one moment. Here is a smaller knife. You just seen the bench made big. There's the bench made uh, mini Italian. So this it is just the doesn't large. even translate uh, through the camera as big as they are in person. So just keep that in mind. Kershaw leak. Do you see how small that is compared to that? And that's a smaller knife, but it lets you get a good, you know, reference of the size. See, of the it's knife. totally dwarfing it. All right, now, really quick, while we have the leak, look at the tip. Come over the blue. Sorry. Look at the tips and the differences in the size. This is a very thick blade stock. Even though it's so thick, it does get down to pretty thin behind the edge. Not You wouldn't think it'd get as thin as it does. It's actually cut very well. And also you can see the thickness right here on the back of the blade, the spine right there. And then here, I'm gonna pick up this one and show this one next to it too, because this one has a little bit different grind because it's a different blade shape. So the tips are different. Since this is the clip point, it's gonna be a little bit different than the Tonto. And then what also, about those two together? So you see, the difference right there. Look at that. Because you have your tanto and you your You can see point. the swedge is different on this one than on this one. This one has a, the tanto has a longer swedge on top. So this is basically just showing the difference in the clip point versus the tanto. All right, guys, we're going to talk about some of the differences between the manual and the auto. One is some of the hardware. You will notice how many screws this has on this side. These are T6s, but even though they're T6s, these are very deep T6s. 
That pivot is also a T20. They all have basically the same hardware, just the, the auto version <clears throat> has a few in different places and less. What are these guys back here? Those look like eights. T6s. Those are not six. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, those like are T6s. There's four T8s on the okay. manual, those two, and then those two, and then the T20. And then you will notice Very cool. on this one that it has the rubber on the back yep. instead of the two screws, like on this one. Yep. And then if you flip it over, you'll notice how this one has less of the T6s because of the auto button. Yeah. <clears throat> Cool. Also, a big difference is is that the manual has the thumb studs. So show them the auto baby, close it, and then show them there's a stop pin. Show them the stop pin. Oh, okay. There's a big, big, <clears throat> massive Excuse stop Excuse my voice, pin. guys. It's really early in the morning. Um, there's a massive stop pin yep, on that one huge. that the manual version does not have because it uses its thumb studs which are also very large. Okay, so here's, now you can see the stop pin like this and I'll open it so you're actually able to see the action, how it works. It's pretty cool. And then we're gonna, do some, we're gonna do some action here in just a minute. For the lateral, like prying capabilities and stuff, since these are such thick blades, these things can, these things are like pry bars basically, like I said, with an edge. So this one, even though it doesn't have the thumb studs, right here that's pushing on the frame or the liner you know the scales this one still is locked up solid I mean, oh, this yeah. is the you most solid it. knife i've ever felt in auto this one though is probably a little bit stronger because when it moves side to side if you were going to bend back and forth and pry the thumb studs push on the liners or the scales which makes it a little bit stronger. The clip is the same on both of them, and you notice that it is tipped down, and a lot of people have talked about this. It's better tipped down with this large of a knife because if it was tipped up, when you pull it out of your pocket, you have to climb up in order to fire it off. If it's tipped down, you're already there when you pull it out of your pocket. I carried both of these basically around the house. We didn't carry these anywhere. I wore it one day. I left with both of them one time. So on separate days, but I did not use them. All the use that we are going to do with these knives are gonna be on camera. We did a little bit of use with the manual one um, with the Freeman video, and then we're gonna do some cutting at the end of this video. And that's it, because these aren't our knives. For the clip though, I was gonna say that I like how um, I just showed them on screen while you were talking out, gotcha. pulled off of this cloth. It came off really smooth for something that wasn't even attached to me. But when you do like a strength test right here, it's not bouncy. Like the way some clips you feel like it's like boing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that. It's like a strong, yeah. sturdy, yeah. singular force. And, but yet it's easy to put in and remove, which you the don't find too problem, often. One problem though is that when you do take it out of your pocket, this little bump gets caught sometimes. So when you're taking it out of your pocket, them. on your pocket. It's a smooth bump though. How does that get caught? It just does. I tried it on both of them and I had uh, issues taking it out of like my pocket. sounds like a nitpick. It is a nitpick. For... All right. The, they both have glass breakers, which... I've broken lots of glass with glass breakers, and these look like they would work very well. I have not tried them on these, but I do wish that instead of a steel ball at the end, I wish it was a ceramic ball. Why? But because ceramic breaks glass very well, but this will work just as good. It'll work very well if you were stuck in a situation where you had to get into a car or get out of a car very quickly, like if your car went into water or whatever, you could easily do it with this. This one is 204P, <clears throat> the one Kara has in her hand, the manual right there, that one's M390. 204P is the USA version of M390, and you can get all these configurations on if you get one. There's so many different ones, like this model that I have in my hand is a 2019. So I'll go ahead and link some of them in Amazon for you guys to check out. Um, there's so many different configurations that I probably won't be able to link all the identical ones. 
um, just because Amazon doesn't necessarily carry everything, but um, I definitely will pick out some of our favorites for you guys to check out if you're interested in looking at those. Okay, so this is a 2019 this Kara. is a 18. That's a 2018. And our custom that we'll be getting to is um, a 17. So yep. we've got one of every year. And you'll notice that, you know, one thing Microtech does that I think is actually pretty genius is they really haven't changed the knife. They just changed your ability to reconfigure it. So instead of having to wait for sprint runs and limited editions and all that stuff that other companies do, and then they double charge for the knife, you can just, it's almost like getting a, a custom in a way because you can kind of just f find your own configuration. And, and, you know, yes, some are more limited than others, but there's a lot of options that look very similar and awesome. And, you know, it's, would you say the lowest price you've seen is like 280? 280. Yeah, two, and then these, these all the way two up right to like 2500. So. Well, that's for custom. Though. Yeah. These two right here are between 280 and 300. You can uh, find customs though anywhere from a thousand to tw you know 2300. So let's get to the action and then we're going to get to the custom. The action on this thing, you can slow roll it. This is obviously the manual version, but it does have a strong detent. Is if we can listen, you'll hear it more when we do the, the cutting, but yeah, it's got a pretty strong detent. But the got a sexy thumb stud detent. action, though, it's very snappy. You do kind of have to learn and understand how it goes because if you just grab it and just go up with it, it, it works very good. But if you follow this little track right there and just put your thumb right up to it. You just push your thumb and put pressure on the lock bar. You can literally just bend your thumb up and the action goes off. Um, the drop, let me just say this one thing really quick. The drop, when you're dropping it, the detent is right there. It does have a late detent for wow, for the very drop. Late. And that's one nitpick I have is that right there because sometimes it wants to lock back up, but you can drop it right past it yeah. and do it like that and it works very well. Now, if it does get caught on that part right there and it's bouncing, you can shake right past it so it does give you that but you know just for fidgeting it does i mean it doesn't really bother me because i'm used to it so once you get used to it it's not a problem because you just push right through it with the blade weight right <clears throat> how does it feel in your hand uh too big obviously but with that said look look at that action like this knife regardless of its size makes me smile you seem very serious about this knife what do you like about it smile um, it, uh, <laughs> it's, um, I like the beefy thumb stud slash, um, stop pins because they are both. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually really like too much that, or, I mean, I like that the clip is actually positioned up here because I'm able to use it as a slight grip. Right, right, So it right. actually kind of works well in this instance. Um, I like that this tapers at the bottom because if it was a big old beef stick the whole way, I might have a harder time kind of with it filling out my hand almost too much. Yeah. This right here, it feels kind of like shredded up rubber that was rehardened with like a polyurethane or something like that. Yeah, it's definitely like so it's, grippy. Yeah, it still has a slight rubber feel. I used to think when I saw these online that it was gonna feel like sandpaper. Like Honestly, skateboard God, tape? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. It's not like that. It's like a hardened rubber. And with that said, with my smaller hand, I'm able to kind of use that as a grip how does it feel as a left-handed person? Fine. I think this knife, if you are a left-handed person who can handle right-handed liners or frames, frame locks, then you're good to go with this knife. Um, I want to show something here. So the way that this liner is set up, um, it's not like other ones where you see that the lock bar is just almost like one solid piece. It's almost like offset from itself so you see the liner and it's inlaid the whole way up the aluminum goes right over the liner where you can't see it and then just the part where you push pops out and to me it almost makes it like a button and you can just yeah. clink. Uh, yeah, like it's that. so easy even left-handed I what mean do you dislike um I dislike the powder aluminum finish I hate those things. I even have trouble with bead blasted natural titanium finishes. Kind of like the same thing that's on the Kershaw Leak. Same um, type of finish. They break in over time, so I can definitely tell these are newer knives or maybe not heavily used. You said used. you liked this one better. 
That one doesn't have a powder. And this is a new. This one's a 2019, so this one's a little newer, but it is a little smoother though. I also like how that one has the rubber on the back that we showed them as well. Yeah. It gives more of a grip, yeah. but I really like though how that liner is set up. It makes it like a button, yeah. and even if you are left-handed and you don't get a left-handed version, I don't even know if they make. I don't think so. I don't. So, think so. but it's really. I wish I could show you guys better. It's really easy. If you see me right here with the knife, it's really. Really easy to access them with these beefy thumb studs I'm able to just grab it and lock it in place not to mention I can actually oops of course now I'm not gonna be able to but I can actually also middle finger this knife I was doing it in the camera before I swear but it's it's a little it's you not can't meant do it. for it's just not it's there not we go. fun I got to one. do it with it but you can do it it actually is when you get it down yeah see there we go I got it um you doubt it but compared to you I doubt. didn't doubt you I did not you doubt did. you I would never doubt you I know your middle finger Ooh. skills. Oh I'm, my god, I'm so sorry. I caught it. Um, anyway, yeah. So there's a lot of things I like about it more than I thought I would, but the I... The smaller ones are coming. Yeah, I'm going to like those better. All right, I now, know it. the auto, this thing has crazy power. The spring in this Feels thing... It's like a gun. It, yeah, it's got some power behind it. So when you do fire it up, like... If you're not expecting it, you can possibly lose this knife. Yeah. If you give it a good squeeze, though, you're fine just like this. You know, because if you give it just a good squeeze and hold it firmly, it actually feels really good. I love the feeling of that. But some people that maybe aren't as strong might want to just put their fingers right there on the side of the liner like that. And then that way, the recoil doesn't pop up. I mean, me just holding it firmly feels really good. And I like the feeling of that action. So I think I agree with you to an extent. It's very comfortable to use this big old fat ramp right here with that, that jimping. It almost feels like plastic. It's kind of weird. But, Remember, um, we're going to talk about that during the cutting, too. Well, anyway, just without bearing down for cutting, I don't like holding it like this as much as I like, like scooting up a little. Uh -huh. That, to me, feels more comfortable. However, as I'm sure you'll see when we do cut, is that I probably wouldn't actually cut with it like this. I probably would want to... I don't know. I'm just... I don't have, like, a sweet spot on it, okay. if that makes sense. All I right. kind of feel like I want my thumb in between the two. Yeah. That's where my hand okay. falls, and there's nothing there for me. When you unlock this, you're going to push the button... And you have tension all the way down. It's not like an assistant knife. This is an auto. You do want to do it two-handed. You can do it one-handed, but you shouldn't. Because trying to hurry up and do stuff like that, it'll end up flying out of your hand because it does have very There's literal <laughs> recoil to this knife. Can I, sh can I see? Yeah. Watch it in my hand. So I you can see my whole arm when I open this knife. Actually, it works better when I have a sleeve on. Actually will shake. I know y'all saw that. You did. You had to have. It literally, y'all, my whole hand shakes. It has so much power. Now, if I can hold on to this and not let it go, so can everybody. But like Jared said, if you're not expecting it, this could hurt somebody. You yeah. really have to be safe with this knife. It's it's a knife that I'll definitely like say like don't try this at home unless you're prepared. And don't hand it to somebody exactly that's not what an I was experienced about to say. knife person. This isn't like the knife you hand to your neighbor Joe. You know, somebody who's not used These to knives. These knives are made for, like I said, I think somebody who wants a knife that they don't have to worry about what they're gonna do. Doesn't matter what they're gonna run into, like I said, first responders and anybody, anybody that just wants that type of security with a knife. Now, I will say that the this one's gonna be more for, I think, somebody who might run into a situation where they need something very fast and one-handed. Maybe somebody, because I personally, I like the manual ver version better. I always like manual more than auto, but I will say though, I like the auto this a is lot. The first it doesn't auto, take anything away from the auto. This is the first auto I've ever had that I actually really like, like would be like, man, if I could keep this, you know what I mean? Like I actually really enjoy it. Um, it, and it's only because it has that recoil. I'm not a fan of like the little Protex and the um, OTF blades that just go, like when you open them, it doesn't even have that, that power of like a knife anymore. It just goes. If you are. Do you know what I'm saying though? Yeah, this, no, I do. This yeah. is literally no. like, I feel like I just fired a gun. Like you, it's. Sorry. If you are yeah, into them you though, be. check out, um, 
check out Scott Big Boar Williams Instagram and check him out and talk to him. He's got a lot of. I autos. feel like this is the, like, this should be the nice nickname is Big Boar. <laughs> like that's what it is. This is the Big Boar. To me, if I needed to know anything about autos, that's definitely who I would go to. He is the man for autos, and he's got a lot of them. And yeah, and I'm sure a Cumulus Edge has a lot too. But it seems Acumus? like. Acumenist. What does a cumulus edge mean? To judge something well. Do. I don't know. That's what I read on. Judge or do? Judge, judge. Right? Okay. And it was on the internet, so you know it's true. Last thing before we get to this custom, I just want to say that the thinness behind the edge. Yeah, get the custom out. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm going to. The thinness behind the edge. This one was about 18 to 20. It was about 18. Maybe. I, mean, I could be off by a thousand or so, so it could be like 17. Now, this one was a little bit thinner at 15 to 20 thousandths behind the edge because this one's the clip point so they're pretty close and you would think that this one was a lot thicker but no but it's it's pretty close but then that goes all the way to that thick blade stack now let's get the check show them the show them the little the little never mind it's got a little microtech knife and it's metal and then it has a big microtech knife on the inside that is velcro which you can stick, there's a little outline of it here, you can bang, but I think most people keep it on the inside because you don't want to lose it. Yeah, I definitely keep your knife in the sheath though because you wouldn't want that scratch in your it knife. It has like the, uh, like that sheepy feeling, like the inside of like a flannel sheep's shirt. Sheep's fur basically. I keep wanting to say sheep's, but when I say sheep's fur, um, comes, I don't know if it came in this bag. It did. In there, or yeah, if you did that. It did. Oh, you mean if you bought it? I'm sure it does. All right, now guys, this is a $1,625 knife as far as I can tell. There's a lot of different customs, a lot of different versions of the Marfione custom. These are made by Tony Marfione, the design, and then he custom made this one. Now, with all the different configurations, they go between $1,000 and $2,300. This one, as far as I can tell, is about $1,625. It's a pretty penny to pay for a knife that's a very so you knife. guys can see based off what he's saying with the price automatically before we even opened it look at that guys these little um things which i call uh caviar eggs because that's what they look like it's actually stingray it's skin caviar period not eggs it's caviar isn't caviar eggs though yeah but i'm just saying though isn't you just call it caviar well you must, yeah they are you eggs, must be a rich person because i've never tried caviar me either I wonder if it's... I don't I want don't to. Yeah. Anyway, I'm good. <laughs> You're supposed to eat it with crackers. You see, like, really fancy people eating it and their teeth turn black while yeah, they're eating it. I'm yeah. like, wow, that just looks yeah, really delicious. fancy. You guys just look delicious. so elegant over there. <laughs> anyway, so beautiful. I could never see utilizing the glass breaker on this because who would do that? A psychopath, maybe? Um, but, wow, look at the shine. I wish you could see this, baby. It's literally glistening in the light, these little I'm eggs. Sure. I mean, stingray skin, not eggs. Um, yeah, and now, tell them what it actually is. Yeah, I did. I oh, told them it's stingray I'm sorry. I'm skin. Sorry. Yeah. Tried out stingray skin. Feels great. Provides a decent grip. It yeah, does look it does. glistening and glossy in here, but it is not slippery. Like, it's smooth feeling, but the texture is there. There's nothing flat laying over it. There's not polyurethane smoothing it out, it like, like, to where it's slippery. It's like hard plastic bubbles. Or hard yeah, plastic Yeah, but better bubbles. grip than than plastic I i'm just say. saying what it feels like there is none on the back okay but we got the same configuration as the manual production version There's with the screws to open it then. oh but i'm gonna make them <laughs> white um beautiful beautiful bronze hardware i know you guys see that peaking of uh damascus coming is that damascus or damascus that is chad nichols stellite core damascus Should I do pull it? it out do it uh, chad nichols uh, stellite or Damascus. That's a Bang. twister. Neves knives. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. That is that beautiful blade. This is the clip point, not the Tanto, although I'm sure you could find a custom Show Tanto. Show them the back of the blade so they can see the stellite core. You can see the actual core of the, the Damascus on the spine of the blade. This Damascus is done. Can you put your very, hand up? This Damascus is done very, very well. And the blade gets down. Let me show them real quick. Sorry, baby. I just want to show them while I had you. So you can see now, there's that core he was talking about where it gets lighter right in the middle. You can see it running all the way up and through the tip. So that's really cool. Yeah. The, the edge is just, it gets down to about 10 to 12 thousandths behind the edge. Very thin. It's a hollow grind clip point and damn is it slicey. I can imagine cutting with this thing. We had a little recording issue. 
All right, the action of this thing is where it shines. Yeah, the blade steel is amazing, thin behind the edge. But this thing, if this thing has great action, this thing feels like it's on washers compared to this thing. This thing feels like it's on ball bearings, which I think is not. These, this thing is on ceramic ball bearings. At least that's what it says. But this one, you can middle finger flick easily. The action is Completely far different. more superior. Like I can't even explain the difference in the action. And the drop, come on guys. The middle finger action, super easy. Because this one's just, it's there's no comparison in the action. I can't even compare the two. They're nothing alike. This okay. thing is super, super Look at that. Awesome. I mean, it's like a hydraulic drop. The other one, um, man, even the, the clothes. Is that a little lock stick? Just yeah, a little, I but felt that'll that. go away. That'll go away. I felt that. Um, look at that. I barely yeah. pushed the thumb stud. And look, it just wants to take itself home. Look. I, like, I'm literally blowing on it. All you need is just a tiny bit of pressure when you're hitting the lock bar. Like I was saying, just put a little pressure and then go like that with your thumb. So pressure, go like that with your thumb, and the thing launches. Well, Sorry. <laughs> yeah, That's our spell. reflector. <laughs> um, there's a little swedge right in here in the blade, and you may have already mentioned this, but I can't remember, so I'm going to say it, but you can literally use that. It's a perfect path, an ergonomic path, for your thumb to flow right through to the thumb set, so you just go whoop, and then it would open if you were not at a weird angle like me, but I'll do it down here. So you just follow through the path. And open. Yeah, that's, and it's, what I was talking it, about that's why it's there. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. design was very intelligent. Nothing is by mistake yeah, the, on this knife. No, Nothing. not at all. And the grip all around, you see the jimping there, the jimping on the back here. It all grips your hand. Like this thing was made and designed this to be. This thing in is your a hand. piece of functional. And art. obviously, it's just like this one, like meaning like the size, the thickness of the blade, but it gets a way thinner edge. The Damascus is different. The action is different. It just feels completely different. You can tell that. Look at that. I mean, you can just tell this thing was taken, like, it was literally gone through with, how did they say it, with a fine tooth comb or whatever? Yeah, fine tooth comb. Uh, fine it was tooth gone through the fine tooth yeah, comb. Yeah, it was gone through like that. And you can tell because, and it still does it's have that little shake right there. there. But you can push right through it. Yeah, super badass. All right, guys, let's get to the cutting. Let's do it. Ha! <laughs> I love this thing. This thing's so amazing. Yeah? How amazing is it? Well, it's got the br bronze hardware that just shines. So badass. I love this knife a lot. You like it a lot. We're outside. We're about to do some cardboard cutting and bottle slashing. We are going to cut cardboard with both the knives, but only slash bottles with this one because we did not ask Scott if we could slash bottles with his auto. So these knives, they are actually really thin behind the edge, as you can see. I mean, I can, I can cut. And you see it's not binding up at all. Well, you got through them both, Pause though. It. Pause it. 